This has got to stop. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Ooh, get some harmony. Um, this got to stop. This is where we talk big, small, specific, personal, grand, whatever. Something that's got to stop. And we have been, uh, we've had some good ones recently. Yeah. Um, uh, I got one. Do you got one? Oh, do you, is yours related to last night? Commercials? Yeah. Okay, let's Tag do a double. This, this has got to yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. What? Celebrities in commercials. Now, not all celebrities, and, and you can disagree with me here. Mr. T, great. You're, Let you're, Mr. T have a commercial. You're not yeah. doing anything else. Someone goes, well, T, Skechers. Great. But if you are a fucking working actor in TV and movies and making millions and millions of dollars, get the fuck out of the commercial. We know what you're doing. Agreed. We know that you can tell that society is collapsing and you need as much money as you can get so you can build a big bunker. And you go like, well, I have enough for a small bunker, but I want, I want Beyonce to come over. So let me, let me fucking do this stupid, dumb commercial. Jeff Goldblum, if it's not you, it's me. So get the fuck out of these commercials. You don't know, three commercials, Jeff Goldblum. Also, Harvest.com, Homes.com, whatever the third fucking thing yeah. was. Also, also the progression of uh, we used to tune in for the commercials because they used to be funny, funny, and then they were just like funny commercials that we didn't care who was in it. It was like, what are the funny commercials going to be in the Super Bowl when we were growing up? Okay, As somewhere along the way, celebrities started going into the funny commercials. And then that was exciting for people. Oh, we'll put this person in a funny commercial. Or, ooh, we'll reunite these two former stars. Or the sequel. You know, what this- Danny DeVito said. Yes. What's up? Yes. Sure. But then, along the way, <laughs> we have lost. It, they're no longer funny anymore. Not funny! It's just celebrities in bad commercials. They're like, oh, what's the second beat of this sketch? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ugh. What's the third beat? Christopher Walken. What this? are you, Saturday Night Live? Well, Get uh, fucking on the show. <laughs> what are we, what are we, uh, like, it's it's so frustrating because they're used, I think, I think we need to go back to only uh, film actors, they only did film. They would never, they would never. They should be, never do they would never step down and do TV. You'd go to you go to China and you do a car commercial and no one ever sees it. That's yes. maybe. Yeah. And yes. that's because you needed, you you would like, you, you didn't pay your taxes yeah. when you, you were fucked. Now, Meryl Streep's doing Hulu? Hulu <laughs> Meryl, no. No. It's hard and, in dumb streets, babe. <laughs> <laughs> and they've all, they. I think this year, I feel like it's always been a, it's been a creeping problem. This year, it felt like every fucking commercial agency, none of them were talking to each other. Every commercial was like this: four, five celebrities per commercial. Yeah, yeah. that's why my commercial agency just closed. Oh, oh by the way, by the way, we gotta talk, we talk about, about that. that. <laughs> <laughs> then this is why they closed. Because we saw him. It was the same night. We saw him. It was the same night, and we we had no idea. I had no idea. He literally he, went out with us. Okay. Okay, so, okay. so yeah. Russell. Well, we don't have to say what, what it is or what it who is. it was. But you uh, say the agency, it's uh, closed. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, an agency um, that uh, we're uh, with. An agency that I'm with for commercials and Connie is with through writing and things. Yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, I did a fun little reading with uh, with Connie Marla Ty uh, last week. Um, and so he was there. Uh, he, I know him through the same agency, and we talked to him, and and then an hour later, an hour later, he was like, we were like, we grabbed a drink. He was like, yeah. He's like, actually, I have just have to run back to the office. I've been getting a lot of emails, and they're like, please come to the office. He's like, okay. Goes to the office, and what happens? The entire agency crumbles within seconds. Sold out from underneath. Sold out from hope underneath. you're happy, Jeff Goldblum. I hope you're happy. You got a new apartment.com. It was the old agencies where A3 was at. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Jeff? A3. I've I was not, with A3 I've not too. heard anything. I've not heard anything. I have no clue. They don't even write you. They don't even write you. I used to, I worked with them with, with Goldblum, who left, thank God. Oh, by the way, Goldblum, who is Jeff's fucking cousin? I feel like. You tell Jeff. I feel like I was with her. I was with her. In LA. She, you know why she liked me? Because I look like her cousin. <laughs> That's why she worked with me. She worked with me because I look like her cousin. And now her cousin is not all the work. We don't even need agencies. They just need Jeff Goldblum. Because people yeah. handle Jeff Goldblum's business. Is Jeff free that day? Oh. No. Yes, tomorrow. Oh my God. But it's bad. But ultimately, look, if it was if it was good, but it, it's like the commercials, they've they've also like Because they don't have to they don't have to be good. They just have to have people. They just want the people to be like, oh my god, that. Oh person. yeah, look, it's That's Jennifer Aniston. All they want. That's yeah. all they're doing. That's all they're doing. And 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 there's a thing of like, 
when it's older again, like Mr. T, and you know what? I'll even give you like an older, like a Christopher Walken, someone who's there, but they really have changed it. Where right as um, who's Abbott Elementary? Uh, 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 Quinta Bronson. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like right when they're they're at their coolest, they're at their most creative, they're making their most stuff, and it's like that's they're taking them right in that moment, and it just becomes like part of the package of oh you've now become famous enough that you can be the the spokesman for the this company, yeah. and it's sad. Yeah. It's and, sad. and and I don't know. I really do believe it's you know some people some people do this thing of like oh well it's because TV the actors aren't getting paid enough and I'm like that's not the level of actor we're talking about all these actors are getting paid they're getting plenty paid. and they're getting paid well I remember Sydney Sweeney said some shit about like she couldn't afford her home and I said shut Get up. the fuck out of here Sydney Sweeney get out of here no you're right. I live with Marla Mandela and Were you not going to say anything about Sydney Sweeney? Because Sydney Sweeney and SNL, you're hoping both of those things happen maybe at the end of the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at the end of the day, you're another day older. <laughs> you're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi.